I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the granny stripe. The granny stripe is essentially a granny square, um, but instead of worked in the rounds, it's worked in rows, as you can see here. Uh, so with this stitch, you're welcome to play with color a little bit, add as many rows of different color as you would like. Today I am going to be working with three colors, the green, the white, and the blue. And this is the ZZ Twist yarn by Lion Brand. I am pairing it with a six millimeter crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me and while you're here, please uh, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as the one that you're going to see here today. So for our granny stripe today, we are going to start by making our foundation chain. And you can make your foundation chain any length uh, you'd like. It just has to be a multiple of four stitches and then plus three and then one more for our foundation chain. So go ahead and uh, I'm going to crochet a 24 stitches. There's 15, 24, just like so. Again, any length, you just need a multiple of four stitches plus three, uh, and then so one more for your turning chain. You're then going to, with uh, your first color, you're going to work two double crochets in your fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, and into that fourth chain, you're going to work two double crochet stitches. The chain three there at the beginning will count as a stitch. Then you're going to chain one, skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and into that next chain, work three double crochet stitches. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip three, and work three double crochet stitches into that next stitch. Chain one, skip three, and three double crochet. Continue to do that all the length of your chain and then meet me back here. Now I am working my final set of three double crochet stitches and I'm going to want to change to another color after this row. So what I'm going to do when I'm working my final double crochet stitch into that final chain, I'm only going to work part of it in the green. So a yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. But instead of completing your stitch, you're going to drop that color A. You're going to pick up your next color. I will uh, use the blue and then you're going to place it on your hook and pull it through those two loops and complete your stitch. Now then it's up to you. You may either cut this uh, color A off and then weave it in or you may leave it attached. Uh, it depends on your project and then simply pick it up again when uh, it's time to use that color again. So it's really up to you and it depends on the project that you're working. Once you have your color B on there or if you're just continuing with that same color, you're going to chain four which counts as a double crochet and a chain one and turn your work. You're then going to continue by working into these spaces that you see here. So your first set of three double crochet stitches will be worked into that first space. So simply work three double crochet stitches into the first space in between the groups of three. Then you're going to chain one into that next chain one space, work three double crochet stitches. Your 
you're going to continue that all the way across And then when you come to your final set of three double crochet stitches, you are going to chain one and into the top of that first chain three, work a double crochet stitch. Now again, I'm going to change color, so I'm not going to complete my stitch in the blue, but I'm going to drop it and I'm going to pick up my white, my third color, yarn over and pull it through so I'm all set to go in my third color. You're then going to chain three, and this counts as a double crochet stitch. You're going to turn your work, and then into that first chain one space, work two more double crochet stitches. Chain one, into the next chain one space, work three double crochet stitches. chain one, three double crochet stitches and continue that all the way across and that's all there is to working this granny stripe stitch. Now I'll show you uh, when I come to the end of this row Into that last space, you're going to work two double crochet stitches and then a double crochet in the top, uh, in the third chain of that starting chain. Then if you're going to switch, say back to your color A, your color A is right down there and ready to go. You can simply just pick it up, pull it up, and add it to your hook. And you're ready to go. Chain four, turn your work, and you'll simply repeat that row two and the row three, three, I keep saying I keep missing the last uh, chain there. Um, don't do that. <laughs> so you're just going to complete, uh, repeat that row two and the row three uh, for the desired length of your work and that's all there is to working the granny stripe stitch. So thank you so much for joining me and until next time happy crocheting. Bye!